What is up guys? Another little vloggy style video. I got some stuff to take care of in the garage today that it's not really deserving of its own video. One is change the oil. Shut up birds! One is change the oil in my wife's car, which is the uh, the old Hyundai. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, the other is the BMW has been throwing a check engine light uh, between the first and second gear shift when it's cold. So I need to, I guess, I'll show you how to do the stop test, which is kind of like the old school way of checking the um, check engine lights on the car and whatever other random stuff we might get into today. Let's move the cars and get to it. Ah. So I uh, went to Walmart today to buy a good old oil and filter and I was there and I saw that they had creepers and I don't have a creeper. A little bit skeptical though. I decided to go with it. It was only like 20-ish bucks, but it's called a two-piece creeper. It looks like it splits in half in the middle. I don't really know why, what the reason is besides, hey, it fits in this box easier. But before we get started, I'm gonna put it together, see how it works. <laughs> Put it together literally that's how it came out of the box all that dirt and dust <laughs> and filth all over it this thing looks like it's probably lived in somebody else's garage for a few years and then you know they threw it back in the box took it back to walmart and sold it to me uh the other thing is it does disconnect here it has like these little quick disconnect straps the only pure reason i can see for it is maybe that it you know, you can pull it apart and store it easier, I guess, because if you look at it, there's three casters on each piece, but like that caster and this caster don't line up. It's not like you can like pull half of it off and then use it like as like a little butt scooting thing around the garage. Like you got three wheels on each side after you pull this apart, which it's not gonna do nothing, anything for you. So. a couple cool tricks for OBD1 E36s. The stomp test, basically uh, what you're gonna do is turn your key on to the on position, don't start the car, push the throttle down five times and it'll blink out your check engine light, your check engine codes. So on, one, two, three, four, five. Check engine light blinks once to let you know it's ready and then it'll start blinking out the codes. One. One. Two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. What that tells me is that code 1226 has been thrown, which is the second knock sensor. Um, apparently it's pretty common, it goes bad and, and causes just a blip check engine light, just flicks once between first and second, but that's the stomp test. All right, cool test number two. What we're gonna do is push in our trip meter and turn the position to the first position. Push this in. And see it start going through its test. Tells you a bunch of information. Once it gets to, I don't remember which number, seven or 10 or something like that. It'll go ahead and test the cluster. A good way to check the gauge cluster and make sure all the lights are illuminating and stuff if you're gonna go buy a vehicle make sure everything works cool beans
filmed an outro on a tripod, but I forgot to turn the mic on because I'm a dummy. But Hyundai's done. Air filter, cabin air filter, whatever the 60,000 mile service is. We're going on a road trip soon, so I got to get that thing in shape. Uh, M3, the seat is in, all buttoned up and ready to go. Video out pretty soon with part two of the seat install. Um, the Creeper's kind of weird, not crazy about it, but it's only 20 bucks. Definitely was used before, but hey, Walmart, am I right? I <laughs> uh, hope you guys stick around, like, subscribe. Go subscribe and like everybody else that, because people on YouTube put a lot of work into videos and it's nice when you tell them that, hey man, I like your stuff. Um, hope you stick around. Cool videos coming. Uh, I think that's all I got. Bye-bye.